What can you do? Oh, Susan, bloody beautifully well, thank you. I had a text from Susan, actually, she said to me, she was a bit annoyed that I'm over here visiting Holly. Because, uh, I mean, she has to work too hard back home. Actually, speaking of neighbours, should we have a little brief chat about neighbours? You see, I happen to love neighbours, I watch it every single day. Sometimes twice a day. If I have to miss it, I tape it. If the tape screws up, I watch the omnibus. If I'm too hard drunk over to watch the omnibus, I ring my mates and find out what happened. Yes, rest in peace, Bridget. A moment's silence. That'll be enough. It was very sad, Bridget's death, I have to say. It was uh, very moving stuff. But I have to tell you that I have been playing Dr. Carl Kennedy now for 15 wonderful years. And I have loved every single moment of that. But the one thing you may not realise is that Dr. Carl Kennedy has been the most difficult acting role I have ever played. No, I'm serious. I, I mean, I've appeared on the music theatre stage, I've then done lots of films and other TV and radio work, and Dr. Carl is the most challenging character I've ever played. Why? Because he is a dichotomy. On one hand, he's a decent family man that loves his wife and children, and he is, after all, the best doctor in the entire world. On the other hand, he's a dirty, rotten scoundrel! <laughs> Do you remember the first kiss with Sarah? That's when the rot set in. Susan found out, smacked him in the face and threw him out of the house. <laughs> Carl was absolutely gutted. Sorry, he was absolutely gutted. So he wooed and 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 he managed to win Susan back again. Hooray! But no sooner had he won her back, she fell down, cracked her head open, got amnesia, thought she was 16. Carl was obviously too old for her, so she dumps him! Carl was absolutely got it. So he wooed and he wooed and he wooed and he wooed and he managed to get Susan back again! They got married, Susan remembered her original wedding vows halfway through the service, and everything was happiness! Hooray! Do you think Carl would be happy with that? No! He has a midlife crisis, goes off with a trollop named Izzy. <laughs> Izzy's pregnant, claims Carl's the father. Carl's the best doctor in the world, but he can't do the math to realise it couldn't possibly be. Eventually he finds out he was never the father of the child. The child is lost, and Izzy is thrown into the street where she belongs! <laughs> Carl wants to be back again with Susan, but no, Susan has married another man, Alex Kinski. But it's all right, Alex dies of angioplastic T-cell lymphoma, hooray! Oh, that's, that's terrible. Very sad. That was fortuitous, so Carl woos and he woos and he woos and he woos, and after a decent period of mourning, Susan decides she does want to be with Carl again, and it's all going to be happiness. No, the Kinski children will not have Carl in the house. Not with their dead father. Well, I mean, the dead father's not in the house. He's been buried, but it's the memory, you understand? <laughs> so Carl is absolutely... He can't sleep at night. He takes too much sleeping medication one night. He thinks that Izzy is, in fact, Susan, and sleeps with Izzy all over again. This time Izzy really is pregnant. Carl and Susan go to London, get married, and Izzy drops the baby at the wedding! I mean, is this a complicated life or what? I think we should sing about it. in strong because she kissed me when Sue found out she slapped my face she threw me out 
Not a disgrace, but at the end of the day, she forgave me. It is a beautiful night. Susan is my wife. I married her three times, so I must have got it right. The day I start sleeping alongside a Susan. One is a saint to forgive me my mistakes I don't deserve to have her as my mate She forgave my wicky ways I'll spend the rest of my days with Susan Susan! Susan! You think I'd have loved How lucky I can be No, I took up with a troll of Navy Z Then she had a baby Susan is my wife, I married her three times, so I must have got it right. The day I started sleeping alongside a Susan. Susan, Susan, fucking Susan. Woman is a saint, give me my mistakes. I don't deserve to have her as my mate. She gave my wicked ways, I'll spend the rest of my day with Susan. Susan, Susan, fucking Susan. She forgave my wicked ways, I'll spend the rest of my